ICT in Education. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. And in this video, we will define basic concepts in understanding ICT in Education, determine the roles of ICT in teaching for learning, and identify learning theories applied in the use and design of learning lessons with technology. In education, it is the mode of education that uses information and communications technology to support, enhance, and optimize the delivery of information. But how is ICT used in education? ICT has also become integral to the teaching-learning interaction through such approaches as replacing chalkboards with interactive digital whiteboards using students' own smartphones or other devices for learning during class time, and a flipped classroom model where students watch lectures at home on the computer and use classroom time for more interactive exercises. ICT allows students to monitor and manage their own learning, think critically and creatively, solve simulated real-world problems, work collaboratively, engage in ethical decision-making, and adopt a global perspective towards issues and ideas. There have been theories that guide how those educators view the learning process, and these learning theories encompasses our beliefs about the nature of knowledge and how a person learns. Some of the major learning theories that shape modern conversations surrounding technology integration includes behaviorism, cognitivism, constructivism, also the constructionism and connectivism. This video will briefly explain what each entails and each might mean for teaching and learning with technology. For behaviorism theory, it is a learning theory popularized by B.F. Skinner in mid-20th century. It focuses on the idea that all behaviors are learned through interaction with the environment. It is a learning process of conditioning in an environment of stimulus. Technology can help to facilitate this training by providing incentives to learning, such as games or other rewards, or by providing systems to efficiently develop stimulus response conditioning. Cognitivism, which is developed by John Piaget, is a learning theory that focuses on brain functions and how information is processed, stored, retrieved, and applied. Technology can help in providing information and study resources that assist the brain in efficiently storing and retrieving information, such as through the use of mnemonic devices or multiple modalities. Next is constructivism. It is a learning theory that considers individual and social factors by holding that is constructed by learners on top of previous experience, attitudes, and beliefs. This means that there is an assimilation of new knowledge to the existing knowledge. Technology can help the constructivist learning process by making abstract concepts and facts more grounded in personal experiences and the values of learners and also by allowing the learning experience to be differentiated for individual learners. Then the Constructionism by Seymour Popper is a constructivist learning theory stating that building knowledge occurs best through building things that are tangible and shareable. Technology can support constructionist approaches to teaching and learning by empowering students and teachers to create and construct external models reflecting internal mind models which resources and possibilities not available in the real world by simulation. And last but not the least is Cognitivism by George Shimmins. It is a learning theory that believes that learning need not to be isolated to the mind, but becoming a learned and capable citizen in a digital society that requires learners to become connected to one another. Technology can be used to improve learning experience by more fully connecting students with one another and information resources in a persistent manner. To sum it up, ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology and its role in education is to support, enhance, and optimize the delivery of information. It is used through such approaches as replacing chalkboards with interactive digital whiteboards. And we also learned the five learning theories that guide the integration of technology in education. These are the behaviorism, the cognitivism, 
the constructionism, the constructivism, and connectivism. And I will conclude this video presentation saying a quote by George Coros, Technology will never replace great teachers, but in the hands of great teachers, it's transformational.